And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everyone on YouTube who's watching this video later on for part two of our sub battle stream. So we are uh, continuing on. This is where I play against subscribers all day. So far, team chat is up. They have won five of the th of the eight matches so far. So I uh, got some work to do. Um, so yeah, th let's. All right, let's get these battles in. So let's see who is going to be up next to face me here yeah so this is where i just play against subscribers all day i have this this wheel that i spin uh to determine what uh deck i'm playing we just finished with bant party bus the end of the, the last video if you haven't checked out part one yet um and we have ben and donner ben and donner is up so uh send me that gamer tag there's my gamer tag there, and we'll see what deck I'm going to be playing here. Hmm, hmm. All right, looks like I'm at Mono Red Crisis. This is going to be the next deck that I'll be playing here. All right, so we do direct challenge, challenge match, best of three. And if you don't know, Mono Red Crisis. It's a Mono Red mid-range deck that is splashing for Hydroid Crisis up at the top. Pretty cool little deck here. All right, Eisen F. Have a good weekend. I have not faced any Esper today. No, I haven't faced any Esper at all today. Alright, so that's my gamer tag there. If if you're looking for it, Ben and Donner. <laughs> Sorry, Sonic Bob. Hey, way to go. Uh, we'll go up. Way to go, up. Finally hit Mythic for the first time. Good job. All right, trying to connect. Okay. Do you know where to go and everything? How to do the, the challenge match and everything? Mm -hmm. And Karmic, you're getting up there in the top thousand too? Way to go, good job. I'm sure you'll be there by tomorrow for top thousand, but hopefully. You beat Esper Hero and Esper Control for the last two. 400 a couple of days ago, now at 650. You're probably good. Less than 24 hours at 650. There's probably not 400 people that are, you know, going to... Uh, pass in in the the last uh maybe maybe there are honestly hmm yeah you may you may decay because this is the this is like the the one time where you do decay a whole lot uh because so many people are like this is where people are you know doing like the last part trying to get in there and everything six eight two Okay, I had the wrong one here. So it's it's nine eight two five eight. Okay, cool. Okay, so make sure you choose best of three. So challenge match, best of three, coin flip should be your options there. It's okay, Ben and Donner, you're good. Yeah, hitting top th thousand means you qualify for um, a I don't know qualify for something. So challenge match, best of three, coin flip.
All right, we'll see if we can get this. <laughs> if you would own only one of the Immortal Sun, what would you suggest for that Mono Red Crisis main deck? Uh, probably... Um, I mean, you... I would probably just not play Immortal Suns and just play Chandra's. Maybe play like two Chandra's instead of the Immortal Suns. Um, either that or playing another... Um, or if you don't want to go with, with the Chandra's, then playing another... I'm sorry. I, I, what's the card? Star of Extinction. There we go. Another Star of Extinction. Uh, man, I'm, I'm exhausted after yesterday's. Very, very long. Oh, wow. Induced amnesia. I'm liking this. The very, very long stream from yesterday with all the talking and everything. All right, we got Asper amnesia. That's what we got going on here. So, yeah. This is probably I'm all right. We we got four color. Okay, four color with Frasca. I was gonna say I was expecting. It's time to step out of the shadows. Sometimes. Yeah. So I bet this is this is kind of like the Soul Tide Amnesia, but I bet the white is for. Uh, that one card. Gosh, that Mythic from Guilds of Ravnica. Where both players shuffle their card, their their cards into their hand and draw seven. I don't know the name of that card. Emergency powers, yeah, that's the name of the card. That's what the white's for. I would assume. Everyone is expendable, except me. So you can see, don't have to go to discard because of the reliquary tower here. Hopefully no more Disparks. I want this Immortal Sun. No, I wanted that Immortal Sun to do work. That was a perfect time for a Thought Erasure. Oh, wow. Okay, so it must have Dispark just that can easily answer Immortal Sun then. Still gonna play it though, like they know about it. I play the Phoenix, like they they just have more knowledge of like how they want to play around things. Yeah, still just gonna play it. Sparks are an awesome card. I like that. It's a very good main deck card here. Bro, let's blow up that Reliquary Tower. Wait, so Bantu sacrificed the forest. Hmm. Your life's about to end. Hope you're ready. Sometimes sacrifice is necessary. These to sparks are awesome. Three to sparks in the main. Very good. I train every day. No one put thoughtfulness before action. All right. Well, Bantu is getting shuffled.
What? No, I was. I know my oh. responsibility. Here goes nothing. I meant to cast this lightning strike in response to kill the Narset. Benadonner's deck's looking pretty sweet. Go according to plan. Yeah, I could have. Yeah, I could have. I could have lightning striked my Phoenix to fizzle to the spark. Yes, but they, their Vrasco would have just ate, would have ate the token. But yeah, I guess I could have done that. I'm known for my excellent timing. I am not making this up as I go. Basically make them minus three, the Vraska, instead of plus two, I suppose. At expense of the... Expense of the lightning strike. It's only a matter of time. So Vraska has a minus nine, so can still ultimate here. There you go. Boots got you covered. You just got to do it the other way, King Simon. Got to do the exclamation point first. But yep. Yep, hopefully you can use some of those codes. It's pain is our game. Just the trick for this. So many cards. Yeah, we can ask. Yeah, we can ask Ben and Donner after this. If you'd like a deck list? Yeah. No, I I destroyed the Reliquary Tower with Star of Extinction. Coming until it's too late. We gotta mill him out. That's the plan. Everyone is expendable. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not very high on the shifting ceratops. Hey, Ezam. With the sub, welcome to the channel. New sub there. Or Ezem? Maybe Ezem. Thank you very much. So do I want to dispark the Vraska or Thought to Erasure them? I guess I could see what's going on with these million cards, see if there's any one of them that we can take out. Alright, not much going on over here. So if I find a mortal sun, our opponent's going to kill us with a Bantu. Which 
which is somewhere in here. I guess I should have taken the induced amnesia to not let them go find Bontu. Yeah, I guess I need to take induced amnesia. But I'm glad they played the Othakide, because now they can't play Bontu this turn. I don't know why I kept the shock. Keeping that shock was dumb. Sacrifices must be made. So, four cards in hand. Four million cards in, or four cards, three cards in library, four million cards in hand. Everyone is expendable, except me. All right, and the Bantu kills us. Can't do anything to stop this Bantu from killing me, I don't think. Nope. Pretty sweet game there. Having four to sparks, having four main deck to sparks, um, really, really clutch. You know, just sparking like, like the rekindling phoenixes over and over, and the immortal sun. I'm basically just going to try cutting burn spells for war bosses and cinder vines. See if we get this extra. I mean, I should cut lava coil. Why do I have lava coil in my deck? Yeah, why is this? This card shouldn't be in my deck. It should just be lightning strike. is kind of buggy right now of like having to choose like how all these attackers go and everything. Uh, interesting technique. Have the treasure map be able to scry for us here. Oh, 
So I'm glad, I'm glad I haven't seen a ritual set yet. De definitely doesn't seem like they have a ritual set considering these cards they're playing. Ugh. Wish I would have just taken the treasure map. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. All right, no ritual. All right, that's better. Coils out, strikes in. And we're going to game three here. Need some more lands than, than what we had right there. Don't have the green mana for Cinder Vines. I guess maybe I'm just playing Daredevil out on. Yeah, I guess I'm just playing Daredevil out on turn two, I suppose. Maybe not. I mean, if we, if we want to play for a lot longer game, the Daredevil. You know, can hit to sparks and stuff. Yeah, let's just get some. Let's get the attacker in here. No, blowing up induced amnesia is not something that we want to do at all. The cinder vines is just like a, a thing that's going to deal them damage, basically. Um, I could sacrifice in response to the amnesia trigger. Ooh, took the hell kite. Didn't mind me get didn't mind getting thought erasured. Oh no. That's not good. That's very good. Just these haymakers back and forth. It's like, all right, I'm feeling great. Then cry the carnarium, no. And then Immortal Sun, yay. If you wish to surrender now, I understand. Hone your prowess. So with Grixis after course at 20, I love, uh, absolutely love uh, Graft Air's Cage for the sideboard there. Um, and yeah, I think, yeah, there could be, yeah, there could definitely be rooms for both Chandras. Um, you know, it kind of depends on how you build your deck, but yeah, both those Chandras are, they're both very good. And yeah, I could see both of those in a Grixis deck. Yeah. So I still only get to draw one card a turn because of this Narset being mean. This is this compass just helps fix their four color mana and is a good thing that if their mana is good like and gains them some life, but if their mana is good, they just sacrifice it to the Vraska.
All right, Chain Whirler helps us start taking down this Narset. Fury will only lead you astray. But they're taking two two damage for every spell they play now. It's gonna add up. I like where we're at right now, for sure, with the getting this have this immortal sun out and everything. Hey, what's up, 619? Oh, whoops, sorry. Yeah, this one's looking like we got it. Ben Donner's got to kill these creatures. We still have much to but then also just like takes two damage because of Cinder Vines. But then also, then I draw multiple cards a turn. So then they got to get rid of the, Nar the Immortal Sun. My prowess is unmatched by my peers. Gobos. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make a M20 Gobos deck. Gotta make one of those. All right. Good match there. That was, a, that was a pretty sweet game one. Seeing Ben and Donner's deck really go crazy. Put him down to, you know, just having four cards left. <laughs> yeah, no, we'll, we'll play some tribal elementals. All right, all right. Yeah, we'll do that. All right, catching up. That's three wins in a row for Team Todd. And... Uh, it is five to four now. All right. So if you'd like to be the next subscriber to play against me, just type the word battle into the chat. If I can spell battle correctly. There we go. After the giveaway started there. Hey, yeah, good games there, Ben and Donner. Pretty sweet looking deck there. Did you have... Um, What's the name of the card again? Emergency Powers. Did you have Emergency Powers in white there? All right, there you go, Karmic. Way to go. Way to play another game. You won. Good job. 458. Awesome. So I'm just saying that, Karmic, because uh, before... This was like two seasons ago whenever it was it was like more like people were really into getting in the top thousand that season for sure. It's, so it's probably more competition than what there is right now. But I was like number like 400 or so the day before, like the night before when I went to bed and woke up the next day and I was like 960 or something like that with like three hours left. Um so that'd be like basically tonight. So basically like where you're kind of at like right now. And, and so there was a, a whole lot of, uh, yeah. So, so yeah. So just kind of be aware of that. So, you know, you check it, check on it tomorrow. I think there was more competition then. I don't think there'll be as much, um, like that was like two months ago. Last month, there was definitely not nearly as, as much erosion the last, last day, but maybe they'll be there. So it's not, yeah, it's not over. 
Yeah, 198 right now is definitely safe. You're certainly safe there. Yeah, I do think a lot of people are, are sick of the war meta. And it's also just June. Like, this is also just, like, vacation time and everything. Yeah. All right, let's see who's up next. Real Rankler. All right, Real Rankler. Can you get team chat back on the winning ways? Send me that gamer tag. There's my gamer tag there. And let's see what I'm playing. We'll let the wheel decide what I'm playing here. <laughs> nope, I got jank. There you go. We'll see if I get some jank too. Well, just guy storm conduit. All right, so just guy storm conduit. So this deck, this is a, a RAL combo, RAL expansion combo deck. That's also just you know just guy control and and everything. But yeah, we're a, we're a RAL expansion combo deck. So that's the deck that I got going on here. All right. Good luck, Rankler. Okay. Yeah, Ral's pretty positive. Ral sits around. Duress. Can just do a good amount of damage. Mind and body. Keep an open mind. Narset replacing herself. Beat me. Put Just try. before action. Narset's like, cool, check out these lands. My brainstorms bring actual thunder and lightning. Oh no, war boss. Ooh, not even going after the Narset. Okay. I've been through worse. For every action, there's a reaction, and you are not gonna like this one. I'm gonna just go ahead and play like two ops here. That's a shock. And expansion. All right, so I need to draw, I mean, I need another land, a land and an expansion. But that means I also can't really cast the ops. So I want to try to combo here. Hurt. All right, well, no, Ral's going to die, so might as well cast the opt. token bad token hmm
I've got it. I've perfected the perfect storm. The forces of nature can show us many things. Okay, we're kind of doing it. Hey, on time. Uh, on test. Even I third. make errors sometimes. <laughs> I'm going with aunt. Hey, aunt. Oh, I'm struggling today. This is hardly my worst defeat. Hmm. So if Raoul would not have died to the contempt, you know, if we would have been able to keep Raoul around, I was going to be minus two-ing and casting one of the explosions. That thing's really big. Phoenix and Monster Sword, these are cards that are really difficult for me to deal with. I have practiced against many things. I have just the trick for this. Sorry I'm late. This might be a bad idea. Oh yeah, Clarion with Ral. Yeah, why don't I just take the Clarion? Yeah, Clarion Rao. Works just fine. I was thinking like I was gonna need like Teferi to tuck and things like that. <laughs> Telling you I'm gonna need these next two days kinda off. I am I'm exhausted tonight. All right, do we find Clarion? Meditate and prepare. Coil. That work. Don't worry. I got this. All right, gotta tuck that. Sorry, I'm late. You need to slow down. What is this, Kanta? Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Yeah, charging monsters are sweet. It's a good card. You know, it's really not much different from Reality Smasher. I've used kind of all all my good stuff. Like I'm not comboing anymore. I used three expansions. I'm certainly not going to combo anymore. Now what? I'm kind of looking for my last expansion. Ooh, a battle. I'm all tingly. Or I just be static. You can bury your crimes, but your past always comes back to haunt you. And just 
doubling up the expansion and doing a lot of damage with it. Seventeen. Hurry. Hmm. close game. I think I'm going to want that land for next turn. The focused and disciplined in how to hone your prowess. Really top tapped my red this auto tap just decided to tap all these red sources instead of these blue white lands when I'm just like chilling with red cards in hand. Slightly annoying. I have just the thing to take you out for good. If I had two red lands left, I would have just won with the Sarkin. So I would have played Sarkin, dealt 12 damage, because the Teferi would have untapped lands, and I would have been able to just uh, win with the Shock upstairs, I think. I have not played a Nar Naru Meha Finale of Devastation combo deck, no. I have not. I haven't played anything like that. All right, that will that do it? No, maybe not. Not quite. That will do it. No, I guess that puts them down to one. Shock does six. Just need a coil also. Oh, this, this, this auto tap. Why does it tap three red sources? Stop tapping all these red sources. <clears throat> yeah, if auto tap was better, I'd have lethal again. All right, definitely want these Ixalan's bindings, the Veto, the Cleansing Novas, um, the Dawnbringers. Let's cut back on Narset and Teferi, the Veto. Uh, I guess a big Teferi, considering I'm bringing a bunch of other five mana cards.
All right, that looks good. <laughs> yeah, Auto Tapper is not very good at its job. This is, a, this is a kind of a cool, just, you know, red-black mid-range, just filled mind. good cards and everything kind of deck. I like it. The Rankler has here. Put thoughtfulness before action. Probably supposed to play Cleansing Nova before I play Lyra Dawnbringer. Maybe not, though. Ah, uh, does anything for the Dawnbringer. Such a good card, especially out of sideboards and control decks like this. You just take out your removal, and then Dawnbringer comes in and everything. GG's there, real Rankler. GG's. Okay, so let's see who is up next. <laughs> it's all good. Yep. Uh, pretty pretty sweet game one there, you know. That was really really close. Almost got me there. Um, all right. So if you're a subscriber, you want to be the next person to play. You haven't played yet? Type battle into the chat. Yeah, another bane fire would have got me. Yep. Or another charging monstrosaur. That card is sweet. Another one of those would have got me. Hey, Breaker Snap. Thanks for that sub there. Welcome to the channel. Okay, let's see who's up next. And it's the Mad Cow. All right, Mad Cow, it's your turn. So send me that gamer tag. And there's my gamer tag there for you to copy paste over to Arena. All right, I'm gonna spin the wheel, see what deck I'm playing. All right, so I already played Soul Tide Control once, but the, the board got reset, so I'm respinning. We already played that deck, so that should take it out for good this time. All right, looks like I got Judith Priest. Okay, Judith Priest is a red-black aristocrat deck based on Judith the Scourge Diva and Priest of Forgotten Gods. 
pretty cool little deck here. So this is our 11th. So yeah, Mardu Angels. Well, we're we're getting closer. You know, it's one out of 19 now. We started with 30 decks on the wheel. We've gone. This is deck number 11. So getting closer to Mardu Angels. And I have an awesome hand here. I'm on the play with a very good hand. Okay, Remodi Reveler. Ditching Ilharg. Oh no. This is really a mad cow deck here. The Mad Pig deck. Yeah, this is Jund Revival. So it looks like we got here. So play the Midnight Reaper there to get that extra card to try to be able to keep in land drops. All right, honor the God Pharaoh. Means I don't get to play Dreadhorde Butcher. So do I want to start taking up Chandra? Let's get a Judithan. Yeah, I was down. Yeah, I was team chat was up 5 to 1. I'm making a comeback. Oh no. You want to play with fire, huh? Sit back and watch it burn. No, please no reanimate. Please no reanimate. Whew, good. Ditching a tolly. And another Ilharg. Perhaps could have just played Ilharg. Possibly. Let's light it up. Let's light it up. There's no way they block. No way. Wow, no respect. Just blocking there. Doesn't think that I have any kind of trick or anything. No respect for the chump attack. Cry the Carnarium, that's mean. There's no problem, fire can't solve.
The shocking end to the Dreadhorde Butcher. They'll never believe what happened. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay. I didn't, I didn't really care about the Dreadhorde Butcher getting killed there. But yeah, I guess, guess I could have played Midnight Reaper before Priest. I did care more about Priest. Hmm, Angrath stealing Ilharg sounds kind of cool. I don't play any modern. Yeah. Stop stop playing modern last year. Let's see. I kind of want to, you know, I can I can definitely kind of see going like rekindling Phoenix and Grath and stuff. What do we have here? A 23 land deck. Try to get a, you know, make my deck not as bad against Cry of the Carnarium and Ritual of Sud and stuff. Yeah, let's get rid of Lazotep Reaver. Get rid of one Chandra. Uh, get rid of a Judith or two. I'll bring these duresses also and kind of trim some other things. Hey, thanks, Zeep. Thank you so much. Yeah, I hadn't played this deck in a while. This deck's pretty sweet. Should have played this deck some more. Yeah, I just, I like standard more than modern, and the main thing is I like arena a whole lot more than magic online. Um, also, you know, I'm, I'm been, you know, this is my full-time job with streaming and everything, and the last few times I would, I would play modern, I'd have like a third amount of the viewers as I would with standard, and, and so just switched over to just playing standard all the time. Because, yeah, as you know, yeah, I love playing green-white in modern, of course, and I like I like mid-range kind of magic and everything, you know, creatures, removal spells, all that kind of stuff, inter interaction. Modern's just really gotten away from that also, and it's just... Modern, you're just all in on your deck, or just all in on, like, uh, your sideboard cards against whatever deck, and it's... It's the kind of magic I played because I was traveling to all the tournaments and everything, and that's what all the tournaments were, was, was that format. But it's not the format that I enjoy as much. Prefer standard. Five color command standard deck like what you're going to, have to be a little bit more descriptive there i don't i don't know exactly what deck you're referencing it's my turn this is just going to be bad for you boo 
So yeah, I didn't play. I didn't lead with Phoenix because of the lava coil. Just led with the Chandra to start ticking up Chandra and start getting start getting more loyalty on her and everything. The new set starts on Tuesday, and we're going to be uh, uh, doing a 12-hour stream on Tuesday. Let's see on in here. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, like, the exact hour or minute or anything, but I just know it's on Tuesday. There's no problem. Fire can't solve. Yeah, thanks, Axer. Yeah, that was some good, clean magic. Sit back and watch it burn. Love me some collected company. Yeah, I've played a lot of Kitchen Finks. Yep. It's over when I say it's over. I went with the Phoenix there because the next turn I could I could double spell with like Midnight Reaper plus hold up a devil in case Ilhar comes back kind of thing. That's why I went that's why I went with the Phoenix first last turn. Yeah, draw on that duress now. I, I kind of want to cast the duress, but that's that's what I want to do is play the Reaper and then hold up a Devil for Ilharg. But now we don't. We know they don't have anything big in hand they can put into play with Ilharg. So Ilharg's not as scary now. No, I don't think Modern will ever come to Arena. Still keep this Phoenix out there. Uh, thanks, Manthus. It says your cyber plan is on point, making their cry less valuable with the Phoenix. Yeah. Yeah, it's when you're sideboarding, it's good to think about what your opponent's gonna be doing. You know, so I wanna th think about like what Mad Cow's gonna be doing to try to fight my deck and so yeah, I'm thinking a lot of cry the Cranarium ritual of soot, that kind of stuff. So I wanna try to have my deck good against those things. All right. GG's. There, mad cow. GG's. Yeah, but it won't it won't be modern though. Yeah. Yeah, for now it's just like, yeah, it's just a standard plus and maybe they'll add in some old formats, but they're not adding like 15 years of of sets and everything. And there's there's not going to be um there's not going to be modern on Arena.
they yeah it's they may add some sets at some point kind of thing basically what they're saying is they like where the metagame is right now with Exelon forward and if they feel like they need to spice things up if people are getting bored of historic or whatever you know like then they'll add add more sets kind of thing they they're just basically having they're just kind of always going to have that right but there's it's possible they just never add old sets it's possible there but likely will be but it may just be you know Amonkhet and and Kaladesh that are kind of already on like we're already kind of designed with arena may not be any more after that you know or it could be you know a couple of years after that a couple of years of sets we just don't know for right now i would just kind of move forward with the assumption that or not assumption but with uh with old sets not being added until they are because who knows when that would be okay let's see who is up next all right, everybody in there, ready to battle? Type battle if you are. Okay. Talrand. Talrand is not a subscriber though. Sorry, just for just for subscribers. Sorry, Talrand, with the sub battle day here. Sorry, Talrand. All right, show me your kitties is going to be the next person that is up. All right, kitties, send me that deck list. And let's go ahead and spin the wheel, see what deck I'll be playing. Or no, don't send me the deck list, send me your gamer tag, sorry. And there's my gamer tag. Thanks, Emmanuel. Ooh, got infinite bolus. Yeah, trying to cheat, yep. <laughs> trying to cheat, I want, want your deck list. Give me your deck list, give, send me your sideboard plan. All right, where's Infinite Bolus? Here we go. <laughs> Generous Stray plus Bark Devil. <laughs> All right, so yes, yeah, so this is a basically a blue-black control deck. Splash into Fairies and Splashing Nickel Bolus. We can combo with Jace, Oath of Teferi, and Nickel Bolus. That's our combo that gives us infinite Nickel Boluses. So that's our combo deck. Infinite Bolus. Yeah, yep, I'm playing against subscribers today, Harpo. Uh, that's I'm doing it. Uh, I do this every la or like the last Saturday of every month. We have this sub uh, battle stream here, and yeah, we just have a lot of fun with it and everything. I have uh, the wheel that I spin to figure out what deck I play, so I play a different uh, deck every single round and the subscribers bring their cool decks and everything <laughs> it's all good kitties oh I didn't update the ID sorry my bad that's that's my fault I thought I did, but I didn't. Yeah, I would say my favorite deck I've ever played was uh, Green White Value Town for Modern. There, that's that's my favorite deck. the The Green White deck I made for Modern that I played for you know around a year in different tournaments. One one. I guess I only just got one trophy with the deck, but made plenty of top eights and everything.
All right, here we go. Nice, Harpo. Do you know do you know when the next arena MCQ is? Does anybody know? We had that one that was like I don't know, a month or so ago now, by now. Maybe two months by now. I don't remember. It was a while ago. No, they're not they're not just once a season, because there there wasn't one last season. So yeah, I guess it would have been two months ago. So they have to be like once every other season or something like that. So I don't think it's once a month. Once per set. Okay, so every three months. So that would make sense. That would make sense once. Once per set. Phoenix is such a great card. Yeah, I can't really answer these Phoenixes, to be honest. Of course, X-Bomb. Another Phoenix. Probably like that's probably their best card in their entire deck against me, to be honest. The Phoenixes. No. I don't I don't think this deck really has much exile. Yeah, I'm dead. Uh, yeah, you're at like 860. That will, yeah, that will likely go above a thousand. Yeah, because a lot of people are trying to get thousand last day. So yeah, you're you're likely, you're likely going to be above a thousand by tomorrow. I'd be very surprised if if being 860 right now made it in top thousand. All right, Dispark, Dispark, give me those Disparks. Um. Doesn't seem like this is a ritual sud matchup. So we saw Kiora. So it's, it's a Grixis deck. Another Elder spell in here. Yeah, top thousand is the invite. Yep. That's a good draw. Uh, 
Oh, the sideboard war boss. I have I have two tyrant scorn still, but I took out my ritual of sets. Looks like Kitties is gonna go ahead and Okay, that's a good good card. Don't worry. This is all just an illusion. But yeah, it looks like Kitties is probably going to level this back up, be six six for Team Chat and Team Todd. <laughs> yes, yeah, magic is I don't remember. I saw I saw some report earlier this year that Magic was officially the Not most complicated way, game in the world, with you know all of the sets and everything. Um, yeah. Yep. Uh, yep. That's what opponents playing. The Grixis Kiora. We haven't seen Soul Diviner, but assuming Soul Diviner. I can no longer stand by and watch. I've got time. Okay. Doing good right now, but but it's five cards over there in hand. It's a lot of cards. Uh, that would make sense that the report relied on a Rubik, which heavily favored a game like Magic. That would make. I mean, that would make sense, because Magic was the most complicated according to them, so. Yeah, I don't even know how you really make a rubric for that, but I guess I guess their rubric was kind of biased towards Magic. That would make sense. Yu-Gi-Oh is more complicated. I, really should have seen that I don't know, like when you consider like all of the all of the different rules and keywords throughout the 25, I don't know, plus I guess 20, is it 26 now, 26 years of Magic, all of the you know weird rules like you know banding and everything from before, but. Yeah, I mean Yu-Gi-Oh might be like I don't I don't know very much about Yu-Gi-Oh, so I'm not saying that it's not. Okay, I, I was, what I was saying was more of a question than than saying that would be wrong. Um, I think the token. Yeah, this token is whenever it becomes the target of a spell, so not abilities as far as the sacrifice part goes. It's just spells. I have a 
War Boss is just killing me. I know 88. I have just the trick for this. Well, I've, I'm kind of stabilizing. I'm getting there. Just got three tokens left. This Kanta's doing a lot of work for me. Or, you know, it will presumably in future turns. I will return I reached one my day. Limit. Let's slow this down. Reverse! So just every turn I just kind of gain a life with the beacon, tuck something. You just I'll be out of Planeswalkers pretty soon, but not yet. <laughs> no. That's a great card. That's a great card. Let's get moving. Hmm. All right, so I think I have three Elder Spells in right now. I I was fighting dragons when I was I've seen one so far. Ants. And we know none of those cards are Elder Spells down there. The dead shall serve me. The immortal Nicole Bolas will be your end. Then I don't know when the next metagame challenge will be, but it'll definitely be after rotation because you know rotation just happens or not rotation. Sorry, sorry, not rotation. The Wrong word. Uh, but it'll, it'll happen after we have a new format. Power. Oh, I should have got rid of Ugin. Whoops. I I just kind of assumed that my opponent already killed the Ugin, and then I would have got rid of a land. Yeah. If it's if it's next I weekend. Um, that's still, that's after the new format, because the new format starts on Tuesday. got rid of the Ugin, I would have had enough mana here where I could have activated as Kanta. If I would have had that extra swamp, I could have activated as Kanta. If I find Elder Spell, I would have been able to Elder Spell 
you know, play Nicol Bolas and Elder Spell and Ultimate Nicol Bolas, and I could have won if I had the, if I had a if I had an Elder Spell in my top four, I would have just won there. Man, I'm so sorry to hear that, Matthew. Man, sorry for been having such a tough time here recently. I will wipe your bloodline. My intellect is without limit. All right, so would we have hit Elder Spell? Okay, we would not have hit Elder Spell. Right on schedule. That's more like it. Well, there's that. I'm kind of out of Planeswalkers. Used a whole lot of them. My schemes have been foiled. Only time will tell. Okay, maybe I'm not running out of planeswalkers. I gained a, a no whole lot of life break. from this interplanar beacon. I guess I could have shocked and would have been able to activate as Kanta again. That was probably worth it. That was probably worth it. Defeat. Hmm. That may be it, though. That may have been my last big Teferi. I don't want to flip the. I don't want to do the Ascanta, of course. Do I still have a Nicol Bolas left? It only looks. I only. I'm only seeing three Nicol Boluses. Do I still have one left? There's one in exile and just two there, right? No. Oh, well, that's gonna end the game. Yeah, I mean, I, I have my deck list up on Stream Decker that I could go look at. But I'm I'm playing like a different deck every single round. I'm not really going through that much. So yeah, maybe one of these last five cards. I mean, I've seen everything else in the deck besides these last five cards. <laughs> Let us fight. Come 
to me. Yeah, I did have a bolus left. How about that? Again. I will return one day. I outsmarted you eons ago. Right, Narset. Gives you your deck list on screen with percentages. Like your percent to draw something. to draw something that's lame no i wouldn't want to play something like that oh, it just doesn't i don't know that's not like something that you'd have like access to normally i don't know that i'm not saying that's cheating but that's that doesn't really seem like something that i'd really want i don't know it's close but it, i don't think it is but i don't know i don't like it all right, hey, show me your kitties. Good games there. GG's, that was a fun match. Yep, that was a pretty sweet deck you had there. GG's. All right, so team chat uh, leveled it up there. Uh, six and six there for four wins. All right, let's see who's up next. So if you're a subscriber, you'd like to play next, go ahead and type the word battle into the chat there. And we'll see who's going to be playing next. I'll, we'll see what we'll get for our next deck for the wheel there. Yep. Uh, yep, just play. Yep, subs only here for the battle. Is everybody in there? Yeah, it just takes some of the fun of playing Magic. Saying, you know, if it shows you exactly what's played, what your opponent has played, what's left in your deck, all that kind of stuff. I don't know, then I just feel like I'm just playing on autopilot and not thinking and everything. And that's like easy mode. Something you wouldn't have in like when you're playing in like a paper tournament or something. All right, we can. Oh, whoops! Sorry, wrong thing. That's enough with the the Yu-Gi-Oh verse magic and stuff. It's okay. Oh my gosh, can I can I not do this correctly? There we go. Sub Zero. Okay, you're up next. I keep typing the wrong thing. Um. Sub Zero, send me that gamer tag. Thank you very much. There's my gamer tag just a little bit ago. All right, let's spin the wheel, see what we're gonna be playing next. Golgari Graveyard. But yeah, if, 
I'm not saying that it's wrong for somebody else to want to use the the program that tells you all your cards you have left you le you have left and everything like that. You know, it's it's perfectly fine. It's just not something I'm interested in. But if somebody else wants to use it, it's not. I'm not saying it's a you know it's a bad thing or anything like that. All right, so Sargogari graveyard deck. We are. Trying to self mill and get our stuff back with fine finality. We got our and command the dread horde. We have our Molder Hulk Memorial to Folly combo. And here we go. All right, so another green source would be nice, so we can go Wild Growth into Jade Light, of course, but even if we just have Midnight Reaper to follow it up, it's still not bad. All right, we got Dust Guy over here. Yeah, there's... No, you're not getting any refund. Um, if you show remorse, for your I'll cards. Your, you'll Here. still have your cards in your collection. There will be another... Um, another mode called Historic where you can still play those cards in, this is hardly in my worst Historic. Defeat. They just won't be legal and standard anymore. Thanks, Boo. Thanks for the link there. Hmm. Well, she lies a roadblock. I don't want that creature. I kind of want the Jayla Ranger just to be in my graveyard, and you know, I just want to cycle it away. I don't think it's getting like exiled or anything, but oh baby, we got the Shalai combo. All right, no targeting. That's fair. That's fair. I have some things to target. I have like four Chupacabras in here or something like that. Um, I got Play Crafters in here though. Play Crafters do not, of course target play crafters to get around the shalai combo there double shalai across the sky Lots of lands. Uh, 
Uh oh. Now that's game. Gotta find Playcrafter. Playcrafter. All right, there's Playcrafter. I won't have the mana to do double Playcrafter next turn, but we could do one singular Playcrafter. And then still activate like Memorial to Folly. All right, Dawnbringer down. Hopefully, I gotta kind of hope for no more creatures or anything here. I guess I could, maybe I should have just played the other Molder Hulk, honestly. I guess they don't have lifelink anymore. I probably could have just played another, another Molder Hulk. Um, I don't think this is going to work out very good for my opponent. This says destroy target land. That is that is not a good choice for them. I don't I think this is just going to fizzle. Yeah, it just fizzles. I guess I shouldn't have got Molder Hulk though, also, so I guess I'm kind of messing up. I was just so surprised like that happened. Yeah, I shouldn't have got Molder Hulk though, I should have got Playcrafter or Jade Light. I'm dead to a lot of things here. Yeah, dead to a shock. Oh, that's awesome, Matthew. Yeah, I'm I'm excited to see that mastery system. I'm excited to see that. That seems like a really cool thing that's gonna be entered on Tuesday.
I don't think I'm going to do very much. I think I'm just going to replace Find Finality with Command the Dread Horde. Command seems like it's going to be quite good for me. Um, yeah, I'm not really so sure, Nooch. I haven't, I haven't played the Red White uh, Feather deck much myself, to be honest. Um, there's times where it, where it looks, where I play against it, and it looks really good though. Um, and I originally didn't think it'd be very good. Like I didn't think it'd be able to beat Esper too much, so that's why I've kind of stayed away from it. But last few times I've been playing against it, it's been it's looked pretty good. Yep, when you return Jade Light and Wild Growth Walker, yep, you get to trigger it. Uh, yeah, because they both enter the battlefield. The Jade Light says explore when you enter, and so then you explore, and the Wild Growth Walker is on the battlefield, and the Wild Growth says whenever you explore, you gain life and put counters on him. So, yep, they both trigger. So Esper doesn't have enough enough disruption for Feather. I'm not sure how or why Feather would be favored against Esper. But okay, because they okay they're just not running enough creature removal right now. So I think it's the kind of thing that if if Esper wanted to start beating Feather, it could. But I guess so. Like right now. They don't have enough. They don't have enough creature removal, and so they're not really prepared for the matchup. And so, feathers taking, uh, catching them off guard. These days, that would make sense. That makes sense. Yeah, God's willing is going to be a really good card in standard. All right, and so yeah, the Clarion is why I want to play the Midnight Reaper here. I can't really get more cards. All right, Storm, have a good night. I'll see you on Tuesday. This isn't a fight you can let's skip to the good. The Playcrafter seems awesome in this matchup. I'm really glad we got four of those. And yeah, I wanted in the graveyard, of course, for the Command the Dread Horde. I'm getting too old for this. Are you kidding me, Auto Tap? Are you kidding me? Sure, I'm just going to get blown out by a sweeper now. I got real bamboozled there. Haphazard bombardment. Okay. That card's sweet. There goes my lands.
Yeah, Gideon's very good against Esper. Only time will tell. Yeah, this is Jeskai Angel Land Destruction. Pretty sweet deck here. Haphazard Bombardments are real. Oh, my poor opponent. Didn't get to destroy any of my lands. I guess that's just kind of lethal, though. Anyway, even though maybe that was like the best they could they could do. No, they could have targeted my other creatures. I don't know. <laughs> that's some dank jank right there. Yeah, haphazard bombardment's a sweet card. Need to play some more haphazard bombardment in my life. GG's there. GG's. Now we learned not to... Don't have Starve Extinction target a land that can leave the battlefield. That's what we learned there with that, that match. That Starve Extinction is a targeting spell, so if the land leaves, then the rest doesn't happen. It's all good, Sub-Zero. Hey, that's that's something that probably hasn't ever come up before. So that's a that's a good lesson learned. There. All right, if you're a subscriber, you'd like to be the next person to battle, go ahead and type the word battle into the chat. If you'd like to be the next person to play if you're a subscriber. I think I'm going to be going till... Uh, I think I'm going to go till like we have the first person to 10 wins tonight. That sounds That sounds like a good... Good time to kind of go towards. I may not go all the way till 10 o'clock because yeah, I am pretty tired here. All right, Rico Rebel. Do I have that deck up on Stream Decker? Yeah, it's up there on Stream Decker. Um, I can try to help find it. That Golgari Graveyard. Here it is. Found it. So we are kind of winding down with people that are here to battle, though, also. So let's see. All right, let's see who's up next. Oh, whoops. No. Oh, my gosh. I am doing so bad. Sorry, you're going to have to retype battle now if you are somebody that, that typed it just a little bit ago. Sorry, you're going to have to retype it. Sorry. All right, Boo, you've been here since since the beginning. We'll see if you are chosen or if we got another person. Gonads, B, D Love, Cajun, Holes. All right, it's B. B, you are up next. B Golem. All right, send me that gamer tag. And let's let this wheel decide what's going to be my next deck. Dread Hordes Climb. All right, so I'm gonna be playing Dread Horde's Climb. Where's Dread Horde's Climb? Here it is. This is an amass deck. It's an amass deck with Hadana's Climb, like Dread Horde Invasion and, and Hadana's Climb actually like work really really well together, and so that's what this deck is is taking advantage of of these two cards together in particular. All right, let's, let's get to it. All 
We have pretty good looking hands. We got that Hadas climb. Hmm. I'm not sure what the very first deck that I want to brew is. With M20. I want to play, probably, like, I want to play Vampires. I want to play the new, I want to play with the new Dino. Um, I want to try to make a Safara deck. Uh, like, with the new Angel stuff. Definitely really like the new Angel 2-drop and, and Safara and things like that. Um... I really like the the artifact. That the five the five mana three five that has the five color activation. I like that card a lot. What's that smell? Oh, I did the pre order. And I already have a lot of a lot of gold to be able to buy packs. So my, my plan is basically I have and I have a good amount of wild cards too. So like those those are kind of what my my plan's all about. Hmm. Do I want to flip this at three? So I, if I flip this, then it's six, and it's a three turn clock. We get to ultimate Chandra first. So like, that's kind of my plan to be able to acquire the cards in M20 is do that and then I am out of here. Uh, yeah, we'll see how see what we got from there. I'll probably crack about a hundred packs. You know, like the fifty from the pre order, probably like another fifty from gold. Maybe sixty. And then work on it from there with the wild cards. No, I don't make any YouTube videos for mass pack opening, no. I guess I could. But it, it doesn't take that long. Cause you just, you know, click like the open ten at a time and it just shows you your ten rares. Oh yeah, that's true, Greater, good call. Hey Vitellius, welcome back. Growth Chamber Guardian fight.
Yeah, there's. Yeah, we got like another hour or so for the sub battle stream. You know, maybe hour and a half. We'll we'll kind of see. I think what I was kind of planning on doing was playing until one either either myself or team chat has 10 wins. Auto tap messes me up again. Could have had, could have been able to play one of these, but oh well. If we had the green mana. Let's get these extra Enter the God Eternals in here. And I think that's it. Maybe trim down on Incubation Druid or Llanowar Elf. Maybe not both of those. We'll put we'll put in one over a druid. Call it a day. Yeah, so Mercer, I think Greater's talking about, like, Greater already has all the commons and uncommons in Standard right now. Talking about, like, when you already have all the commons and uncommons in Standard, and then using your... And then when you also have more wild cards, just using those first before cracking up in a whole lot of packs, if you're going to... Um, just to to make it so it's easier to get towards the vault. No, there's no Soul Diviner in the deck. This is just a kind of an aggro deck. Yeah, Kiora untapping Winged Temple. That's pretty nice. No lands over there. All right, we should probably destroy this incubation druid then. Oh my gosh, not ideal. That was not part of the plan. I was drawing Hadana's climb number two or number three. Rubble reading. Huh. What's that smell? Oh, it's Gotta destroy the winged temple when it flips. Uh, 
All right, good game. No Shouldn't have used this other Tyrant Scorn. I mean, it's possible, you know, we just draw a Krasis to help get back into this. Hmm. Or contempt for the Chandra that's about to ultimate. Not a bad one either. I don't this. Uh, B could just be playing like a, you know, a. A green red land destruction deck. Destroy target land scry two. That's not so bad. Scry two is pretty cool. Hmm. No. Just want to keep it the same. Yeah, I mean, if you can have, like, the mana creatures and you get out ahead and then you blow up their lands, you know, you can set people back quite a bit. We can have turn three enter the God Eternals. No. Well, now, now I can. No, I still can't. This Drowned Catacomb is going to come and play tapped. I need to draw an untapped Black Source. Hydroid Crasis. That'd be a very good draw. Hydroid Crasis. Living Twister, that thing's big. Drawing nothing but lands. It's not working out. Yeah, be going back. Kind of messed up there with the double block. Donna's climb. All right, Dread Horde invasion. No. 
no. Man, Krasis would be so nice. Krasis would just be a draw six. <laughs> Gain six, draw six. It'd be a 12-12 with having the double incubation druid here. Tomb down. You want to go, tough guy? Let's light it up. Yeah, usually Hydroid Krasis is a pretty bad top deck, right? Like, this is, like, for once, you actually want to top deck the Hydroid Krasis, right? Like, that's that's just something that doesn't happen very often. It's like, why? You know, it's like, why would you want to top deck a Hydroid Krasis? gonna be bad for you yeah that, that's a problem with um, I'm at the point now like where I I have a lot more rare wild cards but that was that was certainly a struggle for a while with the rare versus mythic wild cards um, that's that's kind of a product of the rare lands um, and you know sets having you know 50 rares and 15 mythics Yeah, I should have attacked with the token also. So, you know, I'm not, I am not on my game today. I miscalculated there. I thought I was going to be able to kill Chandra without attacking with the token and, and risking, like, the double block to kill the token. But, obviously, I was wrong. So. Yeah, like right now I have all the rares with all the sets, but I don't I don't have enough mythic wild cards to have all the mythics kind of thing. The, the mythics are my bottleneck now. But I I remember a time where it used to be rares. Sit back and watch it burn. You burning. I don't think I'm winning this. I needed to attack with the token also to kill the Chandra. Or, you know, just draw something. Let me pull up. 
pull around. I didn't attack with the 7-7 seven, seven because it only kills one thing. Like now as a 9-9, nine, nine, it kills two things. More lands. Mountain Windcat with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for that support there. I appreciate that. It's our eighth sub of the day. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Mountain Link Cat. All right, just the chump block, which is fine for me cuz you know I get to gain the 9 life here and now I get now it turns into an 11 11 for next turn so it's not bad for me and I get to gain 11 next turn I think they should trade I think they should have traded one girl chamber guardian in the rip jaw for this thing So that's me taking 15. If they have three lands to ditch, I'm dead. Which I guess they they do have three lands to ditch because you can just return them. But they they don't have the mana to return and ditch three lands. They have to just spend like they have to tap out. So like these three cards all have to be lands for them to kill me. But yeah, if all three of those cards are lands, then I'll die. But this is just, this is my best chance of, like, stabilizing and everything. Okay. They were not all lands. Because now I get to safely block with my three fives on these four fours and everything, and, and like, my three fives can't get gunned down. Getting that Living Twister out of there is pretty important. Oh, right, Dreadhorde Invasion is going to kill me, though. I forgot about that part. Hmm. That's a little more unfortunate. So they just needed two lands, not three lands. To kill me. Oh, well. All right. Uh, seven, seven. Team chat is tied it up again <laughs> all right yeah team chat's doing great here i think the very first sub battle was like 11 to 6 or something like that or something i don't know it was close also <laughs> good games there b all right, if you're a subscriber, you'd like to be the next person to battle. All right, we got a lot of people up here now. Go ahead and type battle into the chat. Nah, the capital B doesn't mess it up. You're good there. All right, let's see who's up next. We'll keep this going. All right, gonads and strife. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, the land destruction didn't matter in the games because I just kept drawing lands. <laughs> I, had, I had my anti-land destruction draws on there. All right, Strife, send me that gamer tag. There's my gamer tag right there. And let's let the wheel decide what deck I'm going to be playing next. Make sure you have challenge match, best of three. Oh, there's the Mardu Angels. For the person that wanted to see Mardu Angels early on, earlier on, there it is. All right, here's the Mardu Angels list. It's kind of more controlling with like you know def main deck deafening Clarions and like you know a bunch of removal and then treasure map Immortal Sun at the top end. So let's see how it goes. Seven seven. We got a close match here. All right. Didn't like how our first hand didn't have any black mana. Dress is a pretty good card to draw here because I get to use Arch of Araska to activate Treasure Map at upkeep to look for land and still be able to cast something next turn. Looks like Arena is going to need a reset here. All right, we have Neoform Niv Mizzet up in the house. Well, it's a land. I can't really get rid of it, but it's not not an ideal land. I don't get to play the treasure map here. Seriously? I didn't do that stop fast enough. So I just need a green wall, green land. So playing Shalai here means that I'm going to get hit by, you know, like Shalai isn't going to really be blocking here too much. So I'm going to be taking a hit, but it does, like Shalai will protect Lyra. He's like, yeah, I, I'm glad that Lyra is getting Assassin's Trophy to not Shalai. Or other way around. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Alright, so they, they should be pumping up Aurelia here and then mentoring onto the Guard Mage. So they should be doing here. Let go, Nads, if you watch this later. Oh, come on, Hostage Taker?
Hostage taker. Now they did that. They have something that kills this Lyra. I'm pretty dead anyway. Might as well shock and play the Immortal Sun also. Alright, that's just going to get deputy attention. Hmm. Definitely need Cleansing Nova. I think I want less of Mortal Sun and less Duress. But then I'm kind of... Maybe not less of Mortal Sun. Mortal Sun's not good against Hostage Taker, of course. I'm gonna get an extra Mortify in here. No, nah, Clarions are probably still good. Alright, we're going to have one Daredevil, two Clarion, no duress. Done. No, I can't instant speed Contempt Taker whenever they attack, because if I let them untap with Hostage Taker, they just cast the Lyra. So you, you can't let them untap with the Hostage Taker, because they just cast it. Yeah, Feather's just a 3-mana three 3-4 three, Angel. You know, so just a, a decent body. Um, you know, gets pumped by Lyra and stuff, doesn't die to Clarion. You know, like, works well with Clarion kind of thing. Well, I guess so. Looks like this is what we got. Even the Archer Orozco is like just another land, because, you know, we're going to need land here, even though it doesn't help us cast Resplendent Angel at all. It does help us get to Seraph. Hey, there we go. ACLZ. I didn't recognize this art right away. Let's see, yeah, it's Timber Gorge. Looks like the 
the Eldrazi. I don't know. Things. Whatever the things are called. Ah. Yeah, that sounds like me. Well, GG there, CLZ. <laughs> oh, awesome. Yeah, GG's there. Hey, not that unique. Hello. So I'm not sure if I should uh, rampage away the lantern or just play the Seraph. I'll probably just play the Seraph. It's even like a Niv Mizzet Reborn here. You know, we have, you know, obviously we have the removal with the Dispark or the Rampage to get rid of it and be able to attack for nine. I don't think my opponent's playing Clarion. We have four cards. Oh no, just three? One of them must have been a double. Could have like Soren bring back the two three flyer, but then we'll rampage away the two three flyer. Yeah, I don't think they're playing Clarion with all these deputies. Next turn, we do get to activate Resplendent Angel. We need to. So Strife's just trying to figure out how to stay alive here. So what do they got? We got seven mana. I mean, just like playing, you know, the Soren and the Knight, or the Soren and the Teferi, or the Knight and the Teferi. Okay, not Knight and Teferi. But Soren plus either of those other cards does keep them alive for a turn. It doesn't leave them in a great spot, but it does keep them alive. 
I demand servitude. That doesn't leave them alive. No, they need to get back the... They need to get back the uh, this thing. This thing that gains life and can block. Not deputy. All right. Well, I should probably be playing a little bit more deputy with all the or another clarion with all these deputy detentions. Game three. Can we break serve and win on the draw? Yeah, play Teferi, bounce the angel. That would Well, they were at two, so no, that wouldn't have done it. What are these hands? I have to go to six again. On to six every game with this deck. Hey, what's up, Seawookies? I need lands. I need lands. I need lands. I need lands. Hey, there's a land. Oh, thanks, Iwuki. Thanks. Alright, well, one more land we get to command the Dread Horde. That'd be nice. There isn't just, like, a lot of great stuff to, to get, but some good things. First, I'm going to be contempting this hostage taker, though. I don't really want them to have the hostage taker. Or, sorry, I don't really want them to have my resplendent angel. No! Ugh, should have commanded first. Grab that Knight of Autumn. So they get Knight of Autumn and hostage taker. Oh, and Clarion. I said, I mean, if I would have commanded the, the previous turn, I would have blown up the land turn, but they would have just played my Resplendent Angel. All right, looks like team chat. Going to get another one. These hostage takers. They really got me game one and game three. Taker is a great card. All right. And team chat. Eeks ahead. 
And we're resetting because Arena is getting laggy there. GG's there, Strife. Okay, if you think you can keep this win streak going for Team Chat. Go ahead and type battle into the chat. GG's, yes, pretty sweet deck there, Gonads. Good games. Those hostage takers were so good against my expensive creatures there. All right, is everybody in there? We got Sothian for our winner there. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Rex. I was kind of going kind of quickly there. Uh, but I think I think maybe I think you were in since I redid it. I think you were back in there. But yeah, sorry, Mr. Billion. Just just for subscribers. All right, Sothian. Send me that gamer tag. Let's see what deck I will be playing here up next. The wheel's getting smaller for sure. I wish I could play Mardu Midrange again, but we already played that deck. So I know uh, a few of the decks that we played here already uh, at the beginning, because the wheel got reset, are still on there. So I'll spin it again. See what I get up next. Quasi Dupla Ooze. All right, Quasi Dupla Ooze. All right, Sothian, send me that gamer tag. And there's mine. All right, so Quasi Du Blues is a deck that's trying to. Hmm, where is it at? Here it is. It's a deck that's trying to get a bunch of biogenic oozes and quasi duplicate them. That's about all we're trying to do. We don't really have removal in here. We're not really playing interaction. We're just trying to make a whole bunch of oozes. That's what our deck's all about. Make a whole bunch of oozes. Oh, I'm in the wrong format. So I need to do challenge match, best of three. Since I reset, it's not on there. So challenge match, best of three. Yeah, the Simic duplicate split spell. Um, yeah, I, I tried that one the very first time we started playing this deck. Uh, a while ago and uh, you know like last format you know like when Ravnica Allegiance came out and that card just ended up not being really worth it basically it just wasn't good enough and, and just the quasi duplicates on their own were, was good enough there Sothian you're in there are you in there Something wrong here? Hey, Ian Ray. Yeah, team chat is winning. Had my number today. Sothian, check the screen. What is wrong? Do you, do you have the all the right ID numbers? Do I have all the right ID numbers? Somebody doesn't have the right one because otherwise it would come up. So there's there's something. So you know you look at your screen. You tell me what's what's wrong here. There's some number that's that's wrong. Somewhere. Remember, capitalization, of course, matters. If you're in the wrong format or in the best of three, it would tell us. You know, it would stop. It would stop and it would tell us. It's something with the numbers here. Either you didn't type in my name 
correctly or I don't have your name correct. It's something to do with the names here. So Sothian, what's what's different? Look at your screen, look at my screen, what's different here? Just wait on wait on you, Sothian. Is there anything that's that's wrong here? Yeah, Quasi Du Blue is the de the next deck I'll be playing. That's the deck I'm playing now. Yeah, I haven't really. Uh, I don't want Wilderness Reclamation in a kind of deck like this. No, but you need for Wilderness Reclamation. There we go. For Wilderness Reclamation, the thing that matters is, like, you need a lot of card advantage for Reclamation to, like, make all that extra mana worth it and stuff like that. Um, but Arcbow could be kind of nice here. I mean, honestly, Arcbow is probably better than Quasi-Duplicate, just in the deck in general, to be honest, but... It doesn't let you... Arcbow doesn't let you copy uses, though. Which is what we're doing over here. We could potentially keep this on top and have the Hadana's Climb flip and we'll have the five mana, but if the if the Branch Walker dies, that won't be the case. And I just want to make sure that we get to the mana. We already have the ooze and the duplicate. Alright, well we had the land underneath, so I feel silly, so I wish I would have kept the ooze now, because there was the land underneath. Yeah, I wish we would have just had another ooze instead. So unfortunately our climb died. scary. Oh no, that thing flies. That's not good. I'm not sure why our opponent shocked in there. Ooze, ooze. But we could be much greater together. Light shall always conquer darkness.
I guess that's lethal. We made a whole bunch of oozes. That was cool. But we needed like one more turn. We're like just exactly dead. I wish I wouldn't have made that first attack with the Branch Walker so I could have blocked the Knight of Autumn or Tithe Taker like after the, the Tristani, like that attack. So we could have had some more life. Would have been able to survive for another turn. Be able to swing in with all this stuff. We needed one more turn. All right, definitely a Rivers Rebuke matchup. Let's get those things in there. Do I want Frilled Mystic or Force Landing? Probably Force Landing. I mean, if I if I don't attack that that last turn, I'm, I mean, I'm not I'm not like killing my opponent. I don't have like lethal the the following turn kind of thing. They can, you know, like if I have one more turn, I don't I don't have like lethal if I don't attack there. They just still have all their life and all their blockers and everything. I had to just hope that they didn't do what they did. Basically, I was I was pretty dead. So I had... All right, wild growth waka. Time to start with the wakas. It's gonna be our plan. Hey, what's up, Faves Belcher? Ready for new standard? Me too. Me too. So yeah, Tuesday. See here, we'll be doing a 12-hour stream with the new standard there on Tuesday. And we're only like a little more than three months away from rotation also. Nah, sorry CLZ, it's just, just for subscribers. And not all this, not not all the subscribers are gonna even gonna be able to get in today. You know, so that's how it works. There's always people there here, like like Boots been here for all six hours of our stream so far, trying to get in every single game and hasn't gotten in yet. Well, we're not looking so bad here with you know with the jade lights and like how we'll have the crasis that can fly over. Lots of jade lights though. And now Sothian is missing a land drop as well. Are you kidding me? Wow. What a killer. Oh no. Man, that's just brutal. That's just brutal. I'm 
No, I don't have Vivian. All right, team chat needs one more win. I'm going to have to win three in a row. This first one to 10. I was dead. That's why I conceded. The game was very over. Hey, Sothian, GG's. I had all three Jade Lights in my hand. That Ixlon's binding just absolutely destroyed me. All right. If you're a subscriber, you'd like to be the next person up, type battle into the chat. No, there's no there's no bet, LV. Hey, Mintel Massacre, thanks for gifting that sub to CLZ. That's very kind of you. First gifted sub of the day. Thank you very or uh, that you've had so far. Thank you very much. All right, get on in there, CLZ type. Type battle if you want to be the next if you want to play. I'm, yeah. Now write now write battle. Hurry up! We need it. We need to keep this going. Got to get in there. Yes, write the word battle. If if you want to play. Wait on you, CLZ, to write the word battle into the chat and hit enter. No, you have to type the word battle into the chat to see if you win. Okay, there you go. All right, and yeah, because it's it's a you know so it's so we see who who gets up next. All right, so it's Ian Ray. All right, Ian, you're up next. All right, send me that. Send me that gamer tag, Ian. <laughs> it's okay, CLZ. All right, let's see what deck I'm playing up next. Elimination matches for me. Grixis control. All right, playing some Grixis. Where's my Grixis control? Here it is. All right. Good old Grixis, good old Nicol Bolas Dragon God. Ian Ray, you can just, just put your name in the chat here. Where, whatever your your gamer tag. Just send me your gamer tag here in the chat. You don't have to send like a message. Just put it, you know, like there's my gamer tag right there, just so I can copy paste it. No, I think Ugin's better than Liliana. I think destroying enchantments and planeswalkers and stuff like that uh, is very valuable. And so yeah, I like I like Ugin more than Liliana. Okay. I always like leading with Azkanta. 
a good start for me. Turn one Lanawar Elf. Well, I lost. Phoenix is a difficult card for me to beat, so just going to go ahead and take the Phoenix. And hope I can find like a sweeper for these creatures. There's two Arc Bows, so taking one doesn't really make a ton of sense. And Arc Bow is a little bit slower, and I, I'm going to need this game to be a little slower also. <laughs> Typical... Typical Thought Erasure. Thought Erasure bug strikes again. Good thing Kafnet has five toughness. Dragon Skull Summit means I get to play Nicol Bolas. Yeah, let's do this. Definitely want to keep their resources a little low against uh, Arc Bow and everything. No, 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 don't choose Phoenix, don't choose I Phoenix. Oh, okay. To attend to let your weak hey, my... minds crumble. Ian started to kind of highlight over Phoenix. I was thinking, like, maybe they thought it was, like, sacrifice. They were going to think they were sacrificing Phoenix, but it was exile, so yeah, good, they did do that. <laughs> Thought Erasure, opponent discards a card and then puts the puts the best card on top of their library. It's usually it puts the same card back on top of the library. This Ritual of Sit's gonna be mean. With a capital N. Mean. Would be so mean. Five for one ritual set. That's rough. <laughs> He's gonna unsubscribe now. No. Yeah, that was. I think of the children. Yep. Let's see if they had Null Hide. Null Hide's a good one. I have the Bedevil, though, so it's all good.
limitless. The dead shall serve me. Getting a, a backup bolt, you know, just keep a nickel bolus over here, but then getting another one, basically just, you know, make them attack the, that nickel bolus and so on. All right, so Gruel Arcbow. Hmm. Let's get some hostage takers, a star. You want to take out the, the Narsets? We'll take out a negate, two Narsets. Um, I think I want to trim a Ravager. Maybe do I just take out both Ravagers? Or like just take out the Ravagers because of Nullhide? And Ravager doesn't really match up very well against the, the cards they're playing, to be honest. Yeah, let's just take out Ravager. Maybe I'll play one. Do that or play Cry of the Carnarium. <laughs> Gotta put the Duress in. Yeah, we're waiting on the packs for M12. I, I have all the rares in, in the War of the Spark set, so that opening packs right now doesn't really help me. So kind of keeping this hand because of Ritual of Soot. I like that card a whole lot. And my deck has a lot of lands. We've got 26 lands in here, and we were on the draw. On the play, I would have mulliganed this, I think, because I don't think it's as likely that I draw lands on the play. <sighs> Whatever happens next, it's going to happen. But we definitely need to make them sacrifice this Domri. Got to get that out of here. I think if I'm my opponent there, like Ian, I, th I think you, I think that should just be a minus immediately with the Domri. Because Grixis, like Grixis control decks, don't usually have like much burn spells or anything there. I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to this ritual of sit away this paradise druid. Yeah, I guess I should have just ritual set it away. Should have soot. Should have soot.
Gotta be worried about other haste creatures, for sure. Please, no Phoenix. That one's fine. Star of Extinction, blown up dinosaurs since 2000 BC or I don't know, whenever. Since some other time. I will spare you in exchange for. I will wipe your bloodline. Witness a moat of my power. The arc bow. No attack there. So yeah, activating the arc bow. Hmm. Gotta wait till end step. Just, just should just sacrifice one of the lands that were tapped. You know, just get rid of one of the lands that are tapped. Another time, planes what my intellect is without limit. Yeah, got to get rid of one of the lands that are tapped there. There are no basic land art styles right now. Alright, Dispersal can bounce that. I think Dragon God's gonna clean this one up. Hey, Blue Jin. It's so brutal exiling something every single turn like this. It is possible to change your basic lands, yes. Just in the filters of, for the deck, like how you can switch between sets and everything, like there's something that says basic land, and if you choose that, then you can change your basic land. GG's there, Ian. GG's. <laughs> it's all good, Ian. No reason to be so nervous, it's all good. Good games. All right. It is eight to nine now. Let's see who's going to finish me off. Who's gonna, You know, we're playing until either, you know, at the very most two more matches. Uh, you know, whoever we reaches 10 wins first. So if you're a subscriber and you'd like to, to battle, type the word battle into chat. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Chief Seth. I'm so sorry. I have kept you from cleaning your house. No. <laughs> no, don't don't be scared. It's all good. If you lose, there's there's been eight other people that's lost also, so it's all good. It's just for fun. That's all we're doing here. All right, so who is up? The winner is CLZ. All right, CLZ, send me that gamer tag.
I'm gonna spin the wheel, see what deck I'm playing. All right, so I already played Mono Green Stompy, so we're gonna be respinning. So we already played that one, as we as we talked about. Like there's some, the wheel got reset, so some of the decks we played at the very beginning are still on here. Like I already played Finale as a, as a top belly and Demir Tesserator, for example. All right, but this is Jund Revival. It is my next deck. Trying to get Ilharg. All right, this is our this is our deck. We're gonna Ilharg with a whole bunch of big stuff. This is what we got. Do challenge match, best of three, coin flip. So we're not, not playing in a tournament, we're just doing a challenge match. <laughs> All right, yeah, thanks, Mad Cow. Yeah, your draws weren't so good before. That's kind of what, what I... That's kind of the problem I have with that other deck, that it's just going to have a lot of draws that, like, there's too much removal and stuff. I don't know. I like like these Planeswalkers that fill your hand and everything. The Planeswalkers are good. No, not turn one land or elf. Oh, no. All right, next game. Oh, never mind. We have turn one land or elf also. Spiral. Hmm. Definitely possible I should just get rid of the Bonder re revival. Yep, turn three, Nissa. Yep, y'all called it. Turn three, Nissa. The land fights for us. That's a good game. There we go. <laughs> These go here. Those go there. Yeah, I should have ditched the Bond Revival. Yeah, I uh Harness the elements. Yeah, I'm North American stream. I think that's what your question is. Yeah, I'm I'm in the US. Any skirmish you can walk away from, right? Kind of feel bad for getting rid of that black source now. The land shall conquer you. Yeah, CLZ got picked the very next time.
This next attack is gonna hurt. Do not underestimate my fortitude. Behold, nature's true power. Can't really beat mass manipulation or hydroid crisis or anything like that. Dang. Um, so if I, if I block here, I have one, one, two, three, four, five, six. I can still do both. Then I have to shock. I'll just say no block. This is his lethal. Still coming back at me. Needed to wait a little bit. Need to wait another turn before drawing the mass manipulation for sure. Need to be able to kill this Nissa. Rise, my elemental friend. With that dragon. Yep, turn three Nessa got me. Mass, mass manipulation is just such a beating. Such a beating. <laughs> All right, well, this is what I got. Prefer to draw land. That's what I would prefer. Let's dive right into battle. Well, we're not drawing land. Not drawing land. What am I ditching? Nature flows with vigor. I think the Ronus. Can I just draw one land? Come on. Just one. I had four mana sources kind of in my opener, like with these other ramp cards. I'm just going to draw one land.
a drop. The ocean surges, life thrives. Okay. We have Ilharg in play. We'll see if there's a mass manipulation over there. Really hope not. Alright, that's enough for me tonight. GG, CLZ. CLZ. Alright, chat with the win there. Um, so yeah, very good um, sub-battle stream here uh, tonight. Uh, so yeah, way to go team chat. Good job there. Um, and uh, there we go. So if you're watching it later on YouTube, hope you had a lot of fun here with our sub-battle stream. We always do. We're going to be doing this the last Saturday of every single month. So we're going to be, uh, that's the day that we'll have set aside here for sub battles. It's a lot of fun. Uh, but no, uh, no stream Sunday or Monday, you know, next two days here. And then we're going to be back at it with Corset 2020 um, up next, or uh yeah, Corset 2020 on Tuesday. We'll be doing a 12-hour stream here on Tuesday. Hawkeye, you want to join in? Hey, Hawkeye. You want to say hi to everybody? Okay, so um, that's that's the plan there. So, yeah, if you're watching it later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Um, but, yeah, there we go. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.